art class. We're in art class. Anyways, um, hope you're all doing well today. Well, should we get started? So today we're gonna make something that's really fun. Um, Cause I like to make stuff that you can kind of use, right? So um, today we're gonna make a, um, we're gonna make a paper uh, rubber band launcher. Okay, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, one piece of cardstock. Let's get that get over here. And we're gonna take this piece of cardstock, we're gonna hold it up so that it's taller, right? And we're gonna fold this into thirds. And that's kind of, you're gonna have to ha kinda eye it, all right? So there, I, I folded it going that way. And I'm just gonna use my, I'm just using the edge of my pan here to, to make that crease really nice. And then I'm just gonna fold it one more time. And if you don't get it completely perfectly in thirds, that's okay. No one's perfect at doing anything. Oh, you can use the edge of your scissors here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just to rub along the edge. Okay, so now we have our cardstock in thirds. One, two, three. Long ways, long ways, okay? And you know what I'm gonna do, just so you can see this better, because sometimes it's hard to see the folds. I'm just gonna mark it going across. We're gonna mark out and I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna tell you exactly how, how, how big this is gonna have to be. We're gonna mark out three inch, oops. Mark it three inches. So this is three inches. Okay, from there to there. Let's get closer. Ooh, let's get real close. There we go. Okay, so three, two, three, two. And what, what, I wanna, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take another piece of cardstock, this one right here. So I'm gonna take this other piece of cardstock and I'm gonna use the cardstock to get the edge right. So see how I'm doing this? I'm lining it up. See with that first mark? And let's see if we can put, see how I've lined it up along the bottom edge here? We're gonna use that paper as our we're gonna so that we can get what's called a right angle and so that we can get it perfectly across the top so see how it's nice and lined up so now that shows where that line is we're gonna cut off this part right here because we don't need it it's just scrap and you know what I do with scrap I keep if it's big enough that I think I'm going to use it, I put it in my scrap pile and, ooh, I might use this later on. You never know. All right. So now look. We have, it's getting in my way there. All right. We have three, two, three, two. And what I want to do is I actually, I want to fold along these lines. So I'm just going to fold. It's going to, I'm going to fold along each line make sure that you're staying on the line i'm going to look at it this way i'm going to put in for right now i'm going to put an x here an x here an x here an x here no no because sometimes i need reminders so i'm just going to take my scissors and here's how i'm going to how i'm going to cut it I'm going to actually cut it on, uh, just on the sides. See how I've cut it? It's just on the side of my pencil line on both sides. I'm actually cutting a little sliver of that, f of that area on the fold. See, see what I did? See how it's, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a little area between there. See, I cut like a little sliver out. I want there to be some space there. So let's do that for all of those. Okay, so we've done that. We've cut out those slits between. See, it's all kind of connected and it's kind of like, ooh, flappy, flappy. I love video games, I was just saying, but I'm terrible, terrible, terrible at video games. All right, so what these are gonna do is they're just gonna fold onto each one of those flaps like that. And we're gonna glue them down and it'll make our cardstock really strong. So let's do that. Let's take some glue. Hey, glue, come here. See, 
I told you my desk was already going to be a mess. We're going to put some glue on here and see, I want you to see how I'm gluing it. I'm just using regular white craft glue. I just have it in a different kind of bottle. And um, I'm kind of painting it inside that little, see how I did that? See, it's just, instead of putting a big glob, I, I, um, I sort of painted it in, in really carefully. And then I'm going to push that down right there on top of it. See, it folds onto, its, onto itself. And I'm going to do the same thing. It's kind of like where these accordions were sandwiching it onto itself. And we just want to make really strong cardstock. So by tripling it over, it's going to be really strong. See that, how I did that? So now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for these. There we go. We've made, and look how strong. Those are pretty heavy and strong now, aren't they? That's cool. See, and that's what we're going to make. This is going to be the basis for our launcher. Cool, huh? All right, so we're going to let this dry for a few minutes. Let's put it over here. And next, we're going to make, we're going to make the base of our, um, out of this cardboard, we're going to make this as the base of our launcher. Let's make a, uh, I think we should make sort of a square. Let's make a square and let's measure it as being, hmm, hmm. Do I think that's a good, that's good. Let's have the square be five by five. Is that enough room for it? Let's see. Let's do it six by, no, let's do five, five, five. So it's going to be five inches going this way. So here is our rectangle. And that's going to be our base. All right, so let's take, this is our, this is going to be our box. This is going to be the launcher, right? And let's put one of the small rectangles here, so you can see it. What I think we're going to do is we're going to kind of center it. See how it's sort of centered? It doesn't have to be perfect. But we're going to kind of center it just like that. And what we're going to do is with this small rectangle, we're going to we're going to glue it and then tape it onto our um, our base here. And the reason why we're going to do both is just because I don't know because I want it to be extra strong. So we're just going to do this. Let's see, is that nice and? Let's check. See, see that's nice and glued down tight. I'm just going to move it a little. And there we go. So it's glued down, but we're, we're also going to use some of our masking tape. Come here, masking tape. Here's this first one. Up here is the second box, okay? And this is the, the taller box, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make two holes kind of right there. See how, where it's right at the fold? We're going to make two folds, kind of like that. Okay? So I did that. And we're going to just use I'm just going to use for this, I'm just going to poke them right through with my scissors or something sharp. You could use a pencil too. Make sure that you don't rip through the whole thing. Just be real careful. Just like that. Okay? And if you want, let's strengthen that, that, that paper just in case. We need the holes, but let's put some masking tape around it. So now that we've made um, those holes and we've uh, strengthened them. Now we're going to fold it over like this so we can see that this box and this box um, are, are in that position. See where it ends up? Now what we're going to do, we're going to take some masking tape. What is under my masking tape? Why is it rolling? And we're going to tape it down to the base page just like this. Remember when I use our finger to push it into the grooves? Push it in the grooves. And we're making a new hinge. We're making actually a hinge um, for our box. So see how that's attached? 
So we did it on one side. Let's do it on the inside too, just in case. So I'm going to carefully, you're going to want, let's see if you can see me do this. I'm going to put it on the inside just to strengthen the hinge. See, just like, see how I'm doing that? I'm going to press it down. Now next up, we have to make something called V-folds that we use in pop-ups. And we're going to make some, the reason why we're going to make them, it's just going to help keep this in, in one position so that it doesn't go further than a certain point. And so let's get some of our cardstock. Let me pull back. We have our other piece of cardstock. And what I think we'll do is, let's see, how many should we make? Hmm. I think we'll make three. But we're gonna make a we're gonna make a V-fold. Okay, hey, you get out of here. We're not ready for you yet. Okay. We're gonna make, we're gonna cut a corner off of a piece of cardstock like this. Alright? And we're going to fold it in half like this. This is this is making a V fold. See how I did this? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you where the where that fold is on that triangle piece. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape it like this, but this is not the triangle we're gonna use. We need a triangle. This is called a right the, uh, right uh, triangle or whatever. It's a right angle on a, on a triangle. Uh, we do not want, and that's 90 degrees. We want it more, we want it wider than 90 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it. And we're gonna cut off some of that triangle. So sit, look, look how wide that triangle is now. See how wide that is? That looks really good. So this triangle, what we're going to do is we're going to measure it and make sure that our triangle goes up to here. So it's going to be three inches on one side. And then on the other side, let's see. Well, we'll worry about that later. So let's close this. All I'm going to do is kind of cut it like this. So see how that triangle is? This is a V-fold. V see how we made that? It's it, see how wide it gets? So we're going to make two more of these. All right. There we go. We've got one, two three, three V-folds, one, two, three, three, three. All right, so next we are going to start, we're going to add these to our, um, to our, our, our box. We're going to add, let's see, I think the best thing is to, we're going to add two on this one here, here and here. We're going to add it on this side, two on this side with the holes, and then one on the back. So let's do the back first, I guess. We're going to just tape it. Let's see. Let's make sure we do it right. We're going to tape it. Make sure it's going up and down so it's vertical. Just like that. Make sure this bottom edge goes to the bottom of that piece. And we're going to use some masking tape. Again, use masking tape for this because masking tape has fibers in the tape that help to, that, 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 that don't break. Because sometimes if you use plastic tape, um, it, it, will, it will crack after a while. And so this one, because there are little fibers in the tape, it helps you, um, it's a little bit stronger and will, will, you can use it over and over again. So I'm taping one side of my V-fold to that side of the, the box launcher. And then what I'm going to do, now this is going to be weird, but I'm folding it over. See how I'm folding it over in this position? So here's the way it's attached now. Okay. And, and remember, this is, I'm going to draw on it to show you. See how that's attached? Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it down like that. And then we're going to fold it up like that. And what we're going to do is underneath this side here, we're going to put some masking tape just like this. And it's going to be sticky side up. 
All right, what I did was I folded this down and I put tape on it. This is masking tape going sticky side up. So see, see, sticky. And then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it and push it down and it's going to stick onto my cardboard. See how it's sticking right there? See, it found, it found the place that it's supposed to go. Oops, I pulled it off. Let's do that again. <laughs> I'm going to stick it back down. This time I'm not going to pull it up. Watch. So that's where it sticks. That's the place where it's supposed to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually tape it on the other side too so that it's extra strong. See, I'm taping it in there. Taping it down, making sure it's in place. Now, look at that. <laughs> that's really going over the edge, isn't it? I'm just going to cut it. Just cut it like that. I just wanted to make sure it would fit. Okay, so let's see. So now, it kind of goes like that. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. And if you want, you can you can cut your your V fold a little bit nicer. That's nice. That looks good. Okay, so we've got those V folds now. These extra two, let's tape them on. And we're going to tape them here and here. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use some more masking tape. And I'm going to put it on the edges here, like this, there, this edge here. There's one. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom, too. We want to tape it all along that edge. So that's sticky side up. Sticky, sticky. And then I'm going to add the V fold on one side just like that. And if there's extra tape coming over the edge, just cut it off. What I want to do too with this is I'm going to tape it on this side too. Double side, so it's extra strong. That's what we're doing. We want our thing to be strong so we can use it over and over again. So see how it's taped there? Let's do the other side too. So what do we do? Sticky side up on this edge, just like this. There we go. Ooh, I used a good size. Now make sure your tape isn't, see how it's kind of rumpled there? We don't want that. And make sure your masking tape really sticks. You don't want that kind that, sometimes there's masking tape that comes up, like it, it doesn't stick right. You really want to see I'm pulling it right now and it's not coming up. Okay, so now it's taped down. What do we do? We take our other V fold, we tape it down just like this. Make sure that corner goes to the bottom edge. And what do we do if we see extra tape like that? Cut it off. We don't need it. And then we're going to tape the other side too with masking tape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love tape so much. I really do. I love it. Tape is so cool. Oh, yeah. All right. So it looks like it has wings here. Look at that. Now we need to tape down this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape and we're going to put some tape all along this edge here. Just like so. See how I did that? And this is sticky side down. I'm going to tape, cut off the extra bit. And here's how we're going to tape it down. We're going to fold it inward. See how I did that? I'm going to do that again. Here's where it was. Look at how I'm folding it and it's going inside the box. See how it's going in? And now it finds exactly where it's supposed to go and we're just going to press down like that. And it found its place to be. Look at that. Found exactly where it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to tape it going on the other side too. See? Let's, let's tape it on the other side. Just a couple pieces just to make sure it's in the right spot, you know? You know? Yeah. And I'm going to tape it a little. See how I did that? Just going to tape it there. Now it's really going to be strong. Look at that. But let's do the same on this side. So now, look at that. That's cool. So now it opens and look at how it stops. These, these Vs, stop it from going too far. Next up, we need to take some cardstock. 
And we, we need to make a piece that goes back here that's going to actually be the tip that we can, boom, that we can, it's going to be like sort of a rounded spoon. So let's see. We're going to take a piece and it's going to be from our scrap here. We're going to make a piece that is, got to get our rulers again. Come on out here, ruler. Let's make a piece that's about four and a half inches tall. So let's get the pencil. Let's mark four and a half inches. Let's move in close. Right here, four and a half inches tall. And we need to have it be, it's four inches. I'm going to write that down. Four and a half inches going this way. Right? And now this way, we need to have it be this wide, as wide as this piece. So wide going that way. And all we have to do is, all I'm going to do is just lay it on top of there and mark how wide it is, right? Just like that. And we need to make it at least double strong. So what I'm going to do is, um, well, let's see. I'm going to just fold it like this. Look, just like that. And then we need to mark on this line that we've just folded four and a half inches so that we know exactly so I can go straight across with our ruler. So it goes straight across. So let's cut it out. Oh, look at all that stuff on my scissors. A mess. I told you, I'm a mess. Like, I, this, if you saw what my desk looked like normally, I'm embarrassed. So, okay. Let's see what I did. Now, this side is not equal to this side. So, what we'll just do is we'll fold it over and cut it off. Just like that. And we're going to use glue. Get out of here. Get out of here, extra stuff. We're going to glue. Remember how we doubled it over last time? And we, we actually tripled it over, but we're just going to double it over for this one. We're just going to glue it together, press it down, use our, use the edge of our um, scissor handles. Oh, and if you don't want to see that marking four and a half inches, we're just going to erase it so we don't get pencil all over my fingers. So we're going to let this dry. Um, oh, but before we let it dry, you know what I'm going to do? Let me use my scissors. I'm just going to round off the edges a little here because I want it to be kind of like rounded at the top. Let's see, did I do that? Eh, it's kind of a little off. Who cares? It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. All right, so next we're going to take, this is going to be, uh, this is going to actually slide down onto here and here. So, but what we need to do is we need to mark a line because it's going to have to go in between here and here. So let's, let's just mark it right here. That's where the, we're going to have to cut a slot going right like this, kind of like, and the, and the, it's got to be tall enough. So let's see, is it going to be tall enough to fit? It's got to be tall enough to fit that. No, it needs to be a little taller. So it's just going to be, well, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. So I've made a slot to accommodate our V-fold that's already attached. Because this piece is just going to glue right on top, right there. So let's use some glue. And we're going to glue this in place. I'm just going to glue it <laughs> right there. We're going to glue it into place, just like that. Glue it. And you know what I'm going to do? Also, do is I'm going to use some more of my masking tape. All right, now let's take the, the well. We need some rubber bands, right? I think we only need one good rubber band. You got to make sure. Sometimes I like to stretch it a little, make sure it's strong enough. Is that strong? That one's pretty strong. <laughs> okay, let's take our rubber band. And I'm just thinking the best way to do this. Oh, okay. 
We're, we're not going to cut the rubber band. We're going to actually thread it through these holes. So sometimes you need a pencil to kind of push it or something else that you can poke it through. But you don't want to damage your, your rubber band. So I'm going to poke it through very carefully through the hole. There's it through one side, right? And then we need to get it through the other side. It's always harder getting it through this way, right? See, I'm kind of poking it through with my fingers. Or you could poke it through with your, I guess you could poke it through with like a pencil or something. So now, both loops are sticking out like that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one loop, and we're going to loop, put one loop through the other loop. See? Like how I did that? So it was like this. And then this loop goes in the other one like that. And then we're just going to pull it so that that ties tight. Just like this. Hmm. Hmm. Got to pull it. You don't want to. You don't want to pull your um, rubber band so hard that it breaks. So just make sure that you get it nice and tight up there. See that? So you didn't even have to tie it. And now. What we're going to do is let's we're going to we're going to affix this to our cardboard here. But I think first what we should do is make a couple of notches. So let's make two notches with a pair of scissors. Let's make two notches. Like let's make one here. And that's just, yeah, let's see. Where. I'm going to make a notch here and here. And by a notch, I'm going to make like a. Look at there's some tape on the end there. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna make two little notches with our scissors, and they're like little triangles. There's one, and there's two. Okay. So we're gonna take our rubber band. We're gonna kind of stick it, and when we do it. We're going to make sure our rubber band's, um, you know, fairly taut. So you can see that it's being pulled, right? Like you don't want like a loose rubber band. You don't want it being loose. You, you, but you don't want it so tight that it looks like it's going to break the thing. So you want to kind of have it somewhat still has some stretch. See, it still needs to be able to stretch, right? So see how it's, now see how that is? So we've got the little notch and we've got the rubber band going this way. Next, we're going to take a piece of piece of tape, piece of um, masking tape, and we are going to thread it through just like that and that to make sure our rubber band stays in place because we don't want it going no ways. So now we have a rubber band attached to through the holes and watch. Look at that. That's our catapult. Look at that. That's so cool. Boing oing. Boing oing oing oing. Boing oing 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 oing. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make something that we're going to use to fling. Now okay. So here he is. Okay. So I. I realized later on that you do not have to make your little um, um, bug or whatever um, with paper, pipe cleaners because it might make your launched launcher item um, a little too heavy. So you could just use paper. It's probably the best thing to use um, for the legs. You don't have to because it's a little heavier so it doesn't launch as much. But let's try it out. Look, here's my launcher. And you could decorate your launcher too. Let's see, I put it right there. The spider right there. Let's try it out. One, two, three, launch. Whoa! <laughs> we made our very own paper launcher. Oh, it's so cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's art class, everyone. Oh, this was really fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And I hope you've enjoyed. Um, remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, be kind to everyone out there. I know it's it's a rough, it's a little bit rougher out there, and we gotta we gotta be kind and and help anyone we can. So um, I hope you've enjoyed our class. I'll see you next time. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you liked this video, and I'll make more art classes in the next um, coming weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.
，拜拜。